Hi friends, how are you? So this is Tech Daud and I have Xiaomi Mi 10. So basically, I'm introducing the new software application that you can install on any Xiaomi phone. Any Xiaomi phone. Like for example, you can install it at Redmi Note 10, Redmi 11, Redmi Note 12, Redmi Note 13, not even Redmi series, even Poco series. Sometimes Poco series doesn't work on a new Hyper OS system, but, but, but you can say that the new Hyper OS can be installed in any phone and there's a very new features that are coming along with Hyper OS. Let's talk about new features and a new application and how you can install. I will let you know in the end. So as you can see, I have the new icons that is based on Hyper OS. Icons can be easily applied by themes if you go to the themes and then I will show you what is this name of the theme. You can just install that and apply on that theme. So right now my icon is on this one. This is called WYUI V13. So this is based on MIUI 14 and it is the, the, the application icon is just like this. And this is so, so professional icons. And I can say this is the futuristic icons that Xiaomi should give in Hyper OS. Second thing, new applications, new control center, everything is new. If you go see the control center, you can see this is a new control center. I don't know how to remove this Android as easter egg but you can also remove that from the setting so as you can see you can edit the control center if you go to edits you can edit the control center there's a new options that are that is being added to control center for example one by three media volume media volume and sometimes performance mode compass and more things that are coming to the MIUI hyper os you can call hyper os not me ui Okay, the second feature is gallery feature. You can see this is a new UI of the gallery. And if you go to the photos, you can see there's a new photos options. You can edit any photo. You can edit any photo and make it more, more good and more stabilized. And you can say you can make it more professional. If I go to the album, as you can see, this is my photo and there are some couple of videos and screenshots that I have already taken. So this is my picture. And if I go to my picture, you can see the new UI. And if I go to edit section, you can see this is a new, a whole new UI is been introduced. AI, go to AI and then you can select bouquet. If you select the bouquet, you can see the bouquet has been applied. And you can change the blur settings. You can change the uh, reflections of that. You can change it to stars, heart or anything. The, the, my favorite one is motion one. You can adjust the motion. And this is all by AI. This is all by AI. So this is a new options that has been come through a uh, gallery. This gallery is already available on the description. If, if we talk about new things, you can go to the file manager. This is a new file manager that has been introduced in Hyper OS. As you can see, the UI has been changed, totally changed. The UI is totally changed. Right now you can see the album. Even, even that you can, if you go to the more, you can see all the things which is like new. If you go to the settings, you can see this is a new grid options and all the things are new. Not only that, if we go to the notes, if I'm just going to find notes, this is the notes. If I click on notes, so this is a new UI of notes. You can add that notes. You can create the mind map. You can create everything that you want. And this is really new. You can try it by yourself and let me know in the comment section. How much do you like that? New thing is that the animation the animation of the uh, uh, my ui or you can call hyper os is been new like it's so smooth can uh, pick up the ios and if i open anything for example i open the youtube go back you can see this the animation you can see the animation how it is working and if i open the youtube here and go back you can see the animation side by side the animation in both phone are so smooth new ui has been introduced which is like uh, the new system launcher has been introduced. You can install all these applications down in the link and I will let you know how to download that. I will give you the Telegram channel and that Telegram channel have way more application that I'm introducing in front of you. The new UI, uh, the new system UI. Let's talk about that. If we go to settings, you can see don't show text. There's a new option anywhere or on widgets. And if we go to the more section, you can see, go down, you can see the new UI, right? You can add don't show text, you can add system navigation, you can arrange the items, you can uh, home screen, you can adjust the home screen. These are the things that are new in UI. But the main problem is that this UI is in the developer mode. 
so you can say this develop uh, this is like refreshing by itself and that is this is a bad thing the next thing is about security if we go to the security section let me just open the security and this is my security you can see this is an uh, old ui but then what is new in this ui if we go to the battery section you can change you can see all the ui has been changed for example the previous one has not show you like this if we go to the battery protection you can see the temperature is showing normal and how it is showing that you can see number of charges three times optimized charging this is a new option that has been come through my ui and all the things have been shown in front of you if we go to additional features you can say reverse wireless charging turn off mobile data clear cache you can turn off the 5g you can turn on the night mode which is automatically uh, disable some features and uh, make your battery best and this is the best thing because last night i just have five percent of battery and when i woke up i just see that battery just went to four percent only one percent has been decreased since 12 hours and my internet was on my everything was on the messages i'm receiving that is so good and the battery is, is so much enhanced in new ui so there are so many things that has been introduced in hyper os that i cannot install just because my ui like my mobile phone is in the android 13 if, but if you have mi 12 if you have mi 11 you can install them new camera application data that has new uh, ui how to download all these things in your phone is so simple i will give you the telegram channel you can just join that channel telegram channel you can see there's so much applications has been introduced hyper os notes right if you scroll up you can see hyper always on display hyper weather hyper os screen recorder hyper gallery if we go if you talk about screen recorder let's go to the screen recorder the screen recorder ui has been changed you now you can record up to 90 fps you can show gesture you can show tap button video quality should be goes up to 100 mbps the quality of the video can go up to 4k first one it was like 720 now it can go up to 4k lock screen to end you can lock the screen to end the screen recording this is all the new features that has been described in telegram channel you can go and join the telegram channel and you can download any application that you want but my opinion is don't install the hyper os release 4.39.13 just because this has a new bugs uh, like for example just automatically uh, refreshing the phone automatically refresh the software and that is a very bad thing and i will let you know in, in the in the, in my channel how to download other things and if you want to change uh, if you want to go back from this ui to backward you can let me know i will let you know i will let you know that how to go back from this ui to back you uh, back ui because this is a new ui some some people likes it some people don't so you can see this is all they explain in telegram channel and uh, for the review you can subscribe to my channel and that's all for now thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye bye